What's up guys, I'm Jacob Suggs, and welcome to my part of the collaboration with Inside of Mind. Now, honestly, I've never been the biggest fan of Godzilla, Kong, or any of these other monsters, but so far, every film within Warner Brothers and Legendary shared universe, the Monsterverse thus far, have really impressed me. Granted, there's only two films, being 2014's Godzilla and 2017's Kong Skull Island, but I personally found both films to be pretty entertaining and intriguing. However, this isn't just because of the films themselves, themselves, but rather the viral marketing that was used around the time leading up to the initial release of Kong Skull Island that really got me into this franchise. In October of 2016, a Twitter account for Monarch, the fictional organization that examines mythical monsters, was created and started posting several cryptic photos, posts, and other odd tidbits leading up to the March 2017 release for the next installment within this world. And ever since, that account has been active on the website and is even being used to promote the next release in the MonsterVerse, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And the marketing for that film allows users to tag Monarch in weird photos that they have taken to see if Monarch will acknowledge these sightings as none other than Titan activity. There's not many viral marketing campaigns that actively utilize their followings or even contribute users' photos into the actual story, so honestly, I think it really sets it up Part and honestly makes this marketing pretty unique, all while making the world of the MonsterVerse feel even more real. And that says a lot when you're dealing with, well, you know, a giant monkey and a giant lizard that shoots out laser beams from its mouth. <laughs> But it wasn't just a Twitter account that was made, as a website for Monarch was also activated around this time as well. Currently, when visiting the site, you can look through files of several different kaiju, and if you enter a specific ID and password onto the site, you will be granted the more classified and insightful files on the more iconic monsters from the Godzilla franchise. So, let's take a look at all of these iconic monsters and see how Monarch has examined each kaiju. King Ghidorah is the arch nemesis of Godzilla, and for centuries was a whispered nightmare to many, although Monarch casually refers to the three-headed titan as Monster Zero. Essentially, King Ghidorah is just one giant dragon with three heads, and according to Monarch's website, rests deep underneath a containment facility based in Antarctica. Next up is Mothra, a monster that originated from several fairy tales and folklore that told of a winged creature that soared throughout the skies. And when Monarch containment crews discovered the live titan chrysalis within the Chinese myth site known simply as the Temple of the Moth, Dr. Emma Russell was quickly dispatched to closely monitor the creature that lay dormant within it. A sonar pulse suggests that the creature is awakening, and if she ever emerges from her ancient slumber, a super species that once illuminated the sky will be reborn as Mothra, the queen of the monsters. However, Mothra isn't the last monster that we have to talk about, as within a monarch containment facility atop the active Isla de Mara volcano, a mysterious titan lies within prostasis within the restless magma. The legends speak of it simply as the fire demon, or the one born of fire, but a simpler name echoes through the ancient temples of volcanically active regions. Rodon, or Rodan, I, I don't know, I don't know these monsters, please someone send help. Although he's incredibly large, Rodan has a skeletal structure similar to that of a pterodactyl or Pteranon. Pteranon, I don't know how to say these dinosaur names. Just as Kong is king of the primates, Rodon is simply put, King of the Skies. Because of the extreme temperatures within this particular containment facility, current lab equipment can't really function properly, and as a result, Thermal heat signatures on the creature are pretty much impossible to collect, and Monarch detection crews conducted cardiograms via aerial satellite for life sign detection and verification. Simply put, much like the volcano that it rests in, Rodon is alive, but dormant. And the final monster is one that needs no introduction, Godzilla himself, and I think that pretty much says enough. Now, as you might expect, Monarch's website is clearly doing some major viral marketing for the upcoming release of Godzilla King of the Monsters, but the website was pretty much the exact same concept back in 2017 for Kong Skull Island's viral marketing as well. And with the release of perhaps the biggest film within this universe yet, Godzilla vs. Kong, next year in 2020, I don't really see this website shutting down or becoming inactive anytime soon. If anything, this universe shows that we are not the only ones on this planet, and it's a pretty unique marketing tactic that I really haven't seen before, so I've just gotta say I'm really impressed with how this turned out. Thank you guys so much, and thank you Inside of Mind for letting me be a part of this video. I'll see you guys later and on my YouTube channel. Bye guys. 